Hi everyone, I am Dr. Stewart and I am going to explain the menstrual cycle in about two minutes. This is the accelerated version of this lecture. For the full version, please check out the link right here. So the menstrual cycle is a process in which the female body releases an egg that can be potentially fertilized by a sperm to make a baby. There, uh, the menstrual cycle is controlled by a series of hormones. There's two major organs that are going to release these hormones. The first is the pituitary gland, which lies in the brain. That's this little red dot. It's going to release FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, luteinizing hormone. The second organ is the ovary, this little green dot, is going to release estrogen and progesterone. If we zoom in on the ovary, this is the place in which all of these immature eggs or oocytes are made and developed. There's a bunch of these eggs in here. Before a female is born, there's about 7 million of these oocytes. By the time she reaches reproductive age, 13, 14, it's down to about 200,000 because a lot of these died off. Each egg in blue is going to be surrounded and supported by a series of cells which make up the ovarian follicles. Each follicle, in order for an egg to be released during ovulation, the follicle needs to grow, develop, and enlarge in order to release it um, for that particular month. Let's talk about the hormones that control this process. First, around day zero, the pituitary gland releases FSH. That stimulates the follicle to develop, follicle-stimulating hormone. The follicle gets larger and larger, and as the follicle grows, the follicle is going to release another hormone called estrogen. Estrogen is going to peak around mid-cycle, and this peak in estrogen is going to cause the pituitary gland to release another hormone called LH. This surge in LH is going to cause the dominant follicle to release the egg, that's ovulation, and it's going to cause this, um, the leftover follicle to become a completely different structure called the yellow body or the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum is then going to continue secreting hormones, but it's mainly going to secrete progesterone. Progesterone is going to have two major functions. Number one, progesterone is going to inhibit the release of FSH, and progesterone is going to cause the lining of the uterus to thicken, so the thickness of the uterus um, gets, gets greater. Now, if this egg is not fertilized, then the uh, yellow body is going to degrade, progesterone goes down. When progesterone reaches uh, uh, low levels, it's going to tell the uterus that the baby is not there, and the uterine lining is going to shed. That's menstruation. Without any progesterone available, it's going to allow the pituitary gland to release more FSH, which starts the cycle all over.